today I'm at this absolutely epic double A-frame cabin. It's essentially two A-frame cabins smushed together into one huge A-frame. I especially love the grand room. It has this epic fireplace that goes all the way to the top of these beautiful A-frame high arch ceilings. I can't wait for you guys to check it out. I really love the layout. So let's get straight into it. The A-frame is located at the end of this long, windy driveway. So we're gonna go and drive down with your car, and here she is. This is the front exterior of your double A-frame cabin. I love the red paint job, but actually my favorite part of the exterior is from the other side, from the backyard right here. Just look at all of those glorious windows, and this place is just huge. From this angle with the drone, you can kind of more clearly see the double A-frame side of things. Again, essentially two A-frame cabins smushed together into one. It's also very secluded. You have a ton of land and it's kind of located down this really tall hill. But from this angle, this was taken right around sunset. I just loved how the sun was hitting all the trees around you and you're just completely surrounded. You can't see any of your neighbors at all. But that will do it for the exterior. Let's now head on inside. Straight ahead, that is the front door where we just walked through. There are two rooms in this area of the house that will bang out super quick. The door on the left, this is bedroom number one of three. It's quite spacious. You have a queen size mattress. And in one corner, you have this comfortable looking seat right here. You can read a book over there or have your morning tea, your coffee, and you have your dresser in this opposite corner for some storage space. Now directly across the hall from that bedroom is bathroom number one of two. I really enjoyed the wallpaper and the countertops, thought they were very unique, never really kind of seen design choices like that before, and it blends in very well with all the wood finishings. And over here on the opposite end, actually you have a Whirlpool bathtub. Never really heard of a bathtub called like that before, I guess some form of a jacuzzi almost, but a bathtub. And you have plenty of towels and some racks here you can hang up your stuff while you're in the bathroom. But now we'll head into my favorite space in the entire cabin. This is what I call the grand room. It's absolutely massive. Straight ahead, you also have your spiral staircase, which leads to the entire second floor. And over here on the right hand side, that is your kitchen. Let's first go and explore the kitchen though. So we'll walk past the spiral staircase into this area and just look at all of this space, guys. It's just huge. The owner told me there's actually about 2,500 square feet total throughout this cabin. And this is just like the definition of an open floor plan. There are not many walls in this cabin. I love it. But you have this massive, almost like picnic table of a kitchen table there. You also have essentially an indoor barbecue grill over here in this corner. I've never seen that inside of an Airbnb before, but just so much space here. Great to entertain or to have a dinner party and invite some friends over. To get into more detail though, we'll approach the countertop space and get a little closer. In this far corner, you have all your glasses and utensils, just everything you might need. Obviously plenty of space. I mean, this is just one half of your countertop, you know, just to prep all of your meals, to make up drinks, anything like that. And now we'll move further down the countertop past your dishwasher, your sink, your oven. You have your fridge then over here. Just all your appliances are the latest models, stainless steel, top of the line. And even there to the left of the fridge, you have a pantry, just tons of basic cooking supplies, and even a little section there at the top, a little liquor cabinet as well. We'll now walk from the kitchen to the opposite end of this main floor to your grand room or essentially your gigantic living room space and just look at what we have here. One of my favorite parts that was definitely just the 30 foot tall A-frame ceilings. Look at how tall this entire space is and how the shoot from the fireplace goes all the way to the top. You really have to be there in person to appreciate the scale of what you're looking at right now. But I also love those red hanging lanterns up top. It made me feel like I was inside of a castle. 
Let's now check out some of these seating options though. So we'll walk past the spiral staircase and the main fireplace. And you have two couches over here in this corner. This one couch right here has this really cool slick looking coffee table and some artwork behind it. And the other couch is actually this really big swinging couch right here. You can definitely easily fit two people on. In between the two couches, you have a record player that is hooked up to this big speaker, along with the largest collection of records I've seen to date. There is another chair at this end of this main room. I also just definitely want to include this shot though, just to give you a better idea of how this entire first floor is laid out. So these are the two couches we just visited. The main hallway that leads to the front entrance is right there on the left. The kitchen and spiral staircase is obviously straight ahead. One of the last seating options is this cool little couch that's wedged into this corner over here, right near their sliding glass windows. So let's in for some great natural light. This space looks even better though with a fire going. I love this angle. I feel it best encapsulates the entire space. And of course, you just never get old of those 30 foot tall ceilings. Pretty crazy. Last but not least, there is a big sign that says Sir in front of the fireplace. That's because the owner is a consultant and in the professional world, he goes by the name Sir Coughlin. That will do it for the entire first floor though. So let's now walk up the spiral staircase to the second floor. There's still a lot more to see, so let's go and check it out. Walk into the loft bedroom on the second floor. This personally was my favorite bedroom and this is where I ended up sleeping, but I really enjoyed this space. You kind of have a whole entertainment setup as well. You have a table and a couch over here in this one corner. Again, if we come over here, you might have been wondering, okay, where's the TV? This is a gigantic cabin. I need some entertainment that is located up here in the second floor on the loft bedroom. And of course, I know I can't keep talking about the ceilings, but it still gets even better. Again, feels like a castle up here to me. And from this angle, you're kind of looking down into the grand room from this angle, another kind of really cool viewpoint. But the best is it looks super cool at night when these things are all lit up. Like just look at this, words just can't describe. The last wing of this cabin is connected to the loft bedroom. You have two doors. The door on the right is your bathroom up here. Won't well, spend a ton of time here, but has everything you need. Then the other door is the third and final bedroom right here. This is again, kind of located in the other, essentially A-frame cabin that is connected you know, to the main cabin. This is, I believe, an extension. You can kind of see all the way down that hallway. That is the loft bedroom, just to kind of give you a better idea of the layout. Thanks for checking out my video. If you enjoyed the tour, please give it a like and also consider subscribing. My A-Frame Cabin playlist is also linked down, down below. Thanks so much for watching guys and I will catch you in the next episode.